What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about two essential pairs of footwear that you guys need to create a versatile spring summer wardrobe. There really only is a necessity for a casual sneaker and then a more dressed up shoe that's summer appropriate. Today's video is sponsored by Rothy's, a beautiful, sustainable brand. So for today's purposes, we'll be using the RS01 sneaker in white and the navy driving loafer in my left hand. I'll be talking a little bit more about these shoes in just a second. I've got six outfits for you guys today, three styling the loafer, three styling the sneakers. And with those six somewhat timeless outfits, you'll see that really there isn't much more that you need to build that versatile wardrobe to look stylish throughout the warmer months. So with that said, let's get started with the first outfit a bit more dressed up, so let me complete what I'm already wearing. The components for outfit number one shouldn't be much news to you. Up top we've got a sports coat, underneath the long sleeve that I was wearing just before, on my legs a pair of chinos, and then on my feet the driver loafers. Overall it's a nice look, it's sophisticated but it's a bit more relaxed, we don't have a dress shirt, we have a more chill long sleeve underneath the chinos over suit pants this is not a complete suit so overall it's a bit more relaxed but it's definitely got a more elegant vibe to it and the driver loafers definitely help bring that point home in terms of color i wanted to pick up the navy of the shoes in here and then went just with a lighter blue up top but these loafers are just absolutely incredibly comfortable like I've never actually felt so comfortable in a pair of loafers and that's for one reason, the upper is made from a knitted material. So while I've worn fabric loafers before, if they're cut and sew, they just don't stretch like this. So these are actually knitted to fit around the foot of the upper, which one, makes for incredible comfort, but two, also makes for minimal waste. These shoes are actually made from plastic bottles. That's how Rothy's is creating their yarn to begin with. And then that recycled plastic is being turned into these minimal waste knit shoes. That's just absolutely amazing. Rothy's has been around for a long time, but just in the women's wear space, but they just launched their men's collection with these two essential styles of shoes. So if you guys wanna check them out, link is down below. Obviously we'll continue to look at the shoes as the video goes on, but just an early note that I think they're doing excellent stuff that's truly innovative. Now let's take a look at the white sneakers for which I've kept this outfit pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We've got a white and navy long sleeve that has really nice texture to it, a simple pair of medium wash jeans, and then these white sneakers. They're also made from a 3D knit. So same thing applies here, minimal waist, ultra comfortable. The insoles as well as the soles themselves also contain plant-based PU, which I think is awesome. So even there, there's a sustainable part to it. And then the big kicker is that you can actually wash these shoes. You can throw them into the washing machine as they are because the entire shoe is machine washable. So that's really cool. And for the outfit overall, we've got a white and blue combination. Simple and straightforward, but I do think that the horizontal stripes here that just give it a bit more of like a seaside vibe do make it a lot more summer appropriate and it's almost unnecessary to say that these white sneakers go so easily with it so for a simple look a pair of white sneakers is perfect so let's explore a few different stylistic outfits with both the white sneakers as well as the loafers. With outfit number three, I wanted to show you how I wear my suits, mostly when summertime truly hits and that's really just by ditching the jacket entirely, ditching the tie and rolling up my sleeves. I still have on my suit pants, that's what makes it still the suit. I still have on the dress shirt. And then a pair of breathable, comfortable loafers like these are an excellent choice. Don't get me wrong, I love my leather loafers, but these just have a comfort and a breathability to them that, that just makes me excited to wear these all summer long over other shoes that might have a different aesthetic, but just nowhere near the benefits that these shoes offer specific to the weather. The overall color palette is kept navy. You can guess three times where I got the inspiration for that. As you guys know, I love playing off of the color of a main piece that I'm trying to style. So with the loafers, I then opted for this suit. I did not wear the jacket because that's a double-breasted jacket. That's absolutely not summer for me. If it was spring, yes, maybe, sure. But I think overall it works a bit more casually if you don't have a double-breasted jacket on top of this. And that little bit more casual, I think, works for the texture and the fabric of the loafers that I've got on right now. For look number four, we're going a lot more relaxed back in the white sneakers and why I'm going more relaxed is to show you that if you opt for one sneaker that's gonna work with your wardrobe, 
you should go for something that's a medium thickness, if that makes any sense. So not something that's too chunky, not something that's too slim, something that works well with a slim fit, but also can work well with a more relaxed fit like we have on here right now. So I've got a pair of olive cargos on, these are joggers, very much on the relaxed side. Up top, an off-white Henley that almost perfectly picks up on the white of the shoes. These, by the way, are available in many different colors. I just believe that the white, for me and my wardrobe, is the most versatile option, so that's something I would recommend to you. If you're gonna get one sneaker, make it a white one, just because it goes with everything so, so easily. An easy color combination is always to keep the footwear and the upper body aligned, and then you can play with some color when it comes to the pants, because that's also something most guys won't think about. Like, most guys will go white sneaker and jeans and then do like a pop of color t-shirt, but if you take this approach, you'll have a more standout look just like that. And since loafers are like the ultimate elegant summer shoe for me, let's look at a proper summer outfit. Here I'm wearing a pair of tan linen shorts on top a ripped tank top in white. On top of that, a flannel that I chose to wear unbuttoned so it flows nicely, extra breathability, not as hot when it actually gets hot outside, but still having that extra layer that makes it look more interesting. And it also picks up on the color of the navy loafers once again. While the base of the outfit is white and tan, so very light colored, picking up on some of the white stripes in the shirt as well. So overall, I think it creates a really nice balance and I think loafers are just an incredible shoe to be wearing with shorts. I'm not the biggest fan of shorts, generally speaking. I know in some countries you guys don't have an option, you need to be wearing shorts, otherwise you'll literally just shrink on the inside because it's that hot. So I actually think loafers are a great way to wear shorts in a more elegant way. So loafers, I think, are a great investment if you're planning on wearing a lot of shorts in the summer and you want to make it a bit more spiffy. Back into white sneakers for one last outfit. And here we're following a similar concept to the look that we just looked at. We've got a white tank top, this time not ripped. It's a bit more relaxed, a bit more loose. White painter jeans, so you got a couple of extra pockets here on the side. And then finish that look off with a oversized Oxford that's a little bit stretchy, so nice and comfortable and not as thick as your average Oxford. And then of course finish it off with the white shoes. So we've got a really nice white base, a lot more relaxed, and then just finish it off with a touch of blue, which I think is an excellent way to be wearing white in the summer. It's hard to be wearing white like all white, it can be really overwhelming, it can get dirty really quickly. So what I love doing is creating a white base throughout the outfit and then just throwing on a shirt up top that adds a little bit of color. It could be a print, it could be a denim shirt, it could be a lot of different things. But that way you're layering together a nice look that's summer appropriate, bright and white and still has a little something to it. So with that said, we're through for today. I hope I could show you a variety of looks because I truly think other than maybe like a beach vacation and going hiking, you don't really need much more than those two styles of shoes. So if you liked the ones that I actually wore today, don't forget the link is down below to check out rothys.com. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment, thoughts, questions down below in the comment section. I'll get to them as soon as I get to it. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Sub to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.